In this task, you will round out the task for this tutorial by taking a look at the metrics and shutting down the project cleanly. Hi, I'm Brendan, DevRel Engineer at Hashgraph, and I'll be walking you through this task. Please do follow along as you watch this video, as this is intended to be hands-on. All you need are a browser and a GitHub account. To do so, simply visit github.com slash hederadev slash hederatokens cyoa tutorial, or scan the QR code on the screen now. This is part of the Choose Your Own Adventure Style Hedera Tokens tutorial, where you'll learn how to mint and transfer tokens, the EVM way, the Hedera native way, and even another interoperable way with both at the same time. We have noticed that each time we have run a script that there is a summary metric section printed at the end. This helps us to understand how quickly we have managed to set up and complete each of these tasks and how long we have taken to complete all of the tasks thus far. It even shows us how many errors we made along the way. Let's take a look at it. The time to first task completion is the time taken to complete the setup script plus complete the very first task. This is sometimes also known as time to hello world. The time to all task completion is the total duration taken to complete the setup script plus complete all of the tasks. This gives us an idea of how complex the tutorial is. The rest of the output gives us more granular information about the individual tasks. Before we wrap up, there's one more thing. We're running Gitpod, which is a cloud development environment, and this is built per unit of time of usage. If we're on the free plan, we're using up the limited number of free hours, and if we're on the paid plan, we might be incurring some payment. Therefore, it is always a good idea to remember to terminate the Gitpod workspace as soon as we're done. To do so, let's click on the triple line icon in the top right corner. In the menu, select Gitpod Stop Workspace. We'll see a spinner, a bouncing logo, while Gitpod shuts down this instance. Click on the Go to Dashboard button. This takes us to a list of workspaces. Identify the one that we've been using which is most likely the one at the top. Click on the vertical ellipses, the three dots. Here we could select open to restart the Gitpod workspace where we left off, if that is what we'd like to do. For now, since we do not intend to do that, select delete to delete this instance. We have now completed this tutorial. Let's do a quick recap. You've learned how to Create a fungible token using the Hedera SDK on Hedera Token Service, or HDS. Create an, an ERC20 token using Solidity and VM on Hedera Smart Contract Service, or HSES. And finally, discovered how HTS and HSES are interoperable via Hedera system contracts. Congratulations on completing the Choose Your Own Adventure tutorial for minting and transferring tokens on Hedera.